Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Uh, tonight, I am going to throw on the relationship between Hakeem Jeffries and Nancy Pelosi. Uh, it, again, looks like Kevin McCarthy will get elected to the House of Representatives. And I'm curious if the Democrats uh, look at this as a lost opportunity or uh, just an inevitable thing. And they were there to, to watch, watch chaos reign. Um, I'm curious if uh, if Hakeem Jeffries looks at this as maybe a lost opportunity, maybe uh, the way they did, he chose to do something, had its advantages and disadvantages, and is he wiser for that? But And maybe Nancy Pelosi mentors him on such things. But um, what I want to check out is, you know, uh, what is Nancy Pelosi's relationship like with Hakeem Jeffries? Because I think that's kind of an interesting uh that will be an interesting dynamic. So <clears throat> what's Nancy Pelosi's uh, relationship with Hakeem Jeffries like? Okay, Page of Swords. He's a young, you know, young up and coming guy. He's just learning how to wield the sword. Let me get this down a little bit closer so you can see it. All right. And then yep, one got away. It's going to be hard work but be patient. And then underneath it, it's the celebration card. How interesting. Okay, so what's her relationship with, with Hakeem Jeffries? I think she looks at him, he's a page of swords. This guy is smart. He's gonna be a great swordsman one day, but he's not there yet. He's, just, he's brand new at doing this job. And therefore, you know, he, he would need some guidance with that. It's a hard job, it's hard work. Um, but I also think she she recognizes it's hard work and he's finding out that it's hard work. I don't actually I, I think he knew it was going to be hard work, but she appreciates the burden that he has to lift because she lifted it for years and not that she lifted it for years. She was a woman having to do it. So, you know, all sorts of challenges that she had to face underneath it. Um, Seven of Swords, you know, this is the thief sneaking off in the night. I think that she would look at this op this what happened in uh, what happened in uh, Congress with uh, them not wanting to vote for Kevin McCarthy. She probably would have handled it differently. She probably would have uh, reached out to McCarthy to come out with a bipartisan way of getting him elected and then turning the GOP against uh, against the twenty holdouts and and let that let that uh, cat fight happen. But no, opportunity lost. But I think at the same time, this is how you cut your wisdom teeth. This is how Hakeem Jeffrey learns. You know, okay, okay that's you, you could have done, you, you list an opportunity there. That's, there's pros and cons with everything. He chose to go a different way. They get a certain way on this situation. They got benefits. They got consequences. But I think she's also patient. She, he's learning the job. He's getting integrated into the job. And I think he's going to do a good job with it because underneath it all is that the celebration, the, the happy family. So I think she sees a really bright future for this young man, but he's going to struggle for a while. He's going to miss opportunities, but he's learning the job as he goes. So uh, that's, I think, Nancy's relationship with Hakeem. I'm curious what Hakeem's relationship is with Nancy. So let's go ahead and do a quick shuffle on that and find out what Hakeem Jeffries um, opinion or his relationship with uh, Nancy Pelosi is. You know, it would stand to reason that there's going to be a, a mentorship in there. Good Lord, you've got a woman who's been the, the minority in the majority speaker of the House for decades. Take advantage of that. That is, that is valuable experience. So what's Hakeem Jeffries' uh, relationship like with Nancy Pelosi? Let's find out how that looks. Do a quick little overhand shuffle. See if anything wants to pop up. One more time through. One to grow on, so to speak. Okay. What do we have? King of Swords. Bring it on down here. It's maybe easier to see it that way. What's his relationship like with her? All well, these king cards. 
Okay. Now, who is the King of Swords? It doesn't necessarily have to, I don't think he, maybe one day he is the boy that, he, oh, well, yeah, there you go, All right? Um, I think his relationship with her is that right now she views him as the Page of Swords and maybe he views himself as the King of Swords. But really what I think it is, is that his relationship with her will help him become the King of Swords. This guy is going to be a great leader for the Democratic Party. Now, I know that there's a lot of hope for him to be that way, but I think he's got the he's got the personality to be that person and he's got a mentorship with her that would help that. Underneath it, the King of Pentacles. Um, again, this might be... The King of Pentacles could be about a really wealthy person, but it can also be about somebody who looks at it, it's like, okay, I've got everything. What do you bring? Uh, move my speaker here. What do you bring to the table? And I think Nancy Pelosi brings a lot because underneath it all is the Three of Pentacles, the, the group work. I think that she is, um, what she's going to bring to him is that experience that she has in working the, the Democratic Party to make them unified. Somebody pointed out that the majority that Kevin McCarthy has is the exact same majority that Nancy Pelosi had. And she got major legislation through and he can't even get elected to the head of the House. So, you know, kudos to Nancy for being able to work people, get the votes and get people on board. Um, generational wealth, Ten of Pentacles. I think this, again, this is Nancy Pelosi is going to show him how to build up um, that that wealth and goodwill to attract older voters, middle-aged voters, younger voters to keep his legacy going on because she has the legacy herself. So she's got that legacy and she can show him you know, the, the wisdom that she's learned throughout the years. And probably what an interesting thing. This could be how to move out of troubled waters. You know, when things are getting choppy, she can show him, here's how you get out of a situation. And it might be one of those ones where, you know, you teach a man to fish. If you give a man fish, he goes, he, he's not hungry anymore. But if you teach a man to fish, he never goes hungry again. So this could be her teaching him how to get out of troublesome situations and by working with each other. So uh, I think his future is bright so long as he, you know, treats her like a mentor and listens to what she says. Learn. You can always learn from people. So that's my reading on uh, their interactions between Nancy Pelosi and um, Hakeem Jeffries. Hope you enjoyed that reading. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and add any comments if there's other things you'd like me to read on. Have a great night. Have a good night.